everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout using the planetarium kit and I'm just showing you some of the stuff that I may be using and I have all my embellishments and supplies that uh, we got in the May kit in this big platter. And then these are some of the things I think I may be using. I have the glitz stickers out and I have the October afternoon, um, what are they called, honey, sticky keys. And we got those in a kit a few months ago and I absolutely love them. I even went as far and bought a second sheet because my first sheet is totally picked over. And these are photos of my grandson, which I only end up using one of them because I just want to put the, fo the focus on one photo. And the first sheet is by Lori Whitlock, Echo Park, A Perfect Summer. This one there is... Cosmo Cricut, which I don't end up using. And then at first I think I'm going to use maybe the yellow cardstock, which I decide against uh, pretty quick at the beginning of the layout. And then I end up taking out some different pattern papers too that I want to use. So I know I want to cut down the paper. So I'm going to cut it into a 4x4 four four strip and then and then I'm going to mat it with um, some pattern paper. And I kind of slowed down the video there just so I could kind of talk a little bit about what the products are and everything. And I thought I'd, I'd share a little bit about the, the photo too. Um, my grandson, ever, since he was little, he's been trying to figure out how to put his thumb in his mouth. And this is like from the time he was born. He has a suki and I mean, he has it for a few minutes and then he just spits it out and then he's looking for his fingers and his thumb. So... I mean this I've had three kids and then I have my grandson and my three kids never observe their hands as much as he does like he can sit there and he'll look at his hand for like 10-15 minutes at a time and then he flips it over and looks at the back side and then he'll like make a fist and open it make a fist and open it and it's like he's trying to figure out like okay because every time he brings it to his mouth the thumb would go inside his fingers, if you know what I mean, like if he balls it up and he couldn't get his thumb. So he would spend, you know, so much time looking at his hands and he's now uh, six months old. Anyway, a few weeks ago or a month ago, he finally figured out how to make his thumb stick out and stick it in his mouth. I mean, which is, I know when they get older, it's hard to get their them to stop using their thumb. But uh, for nighttime, it's wonderful. He just wakes up and just sticks his thumb in his mouth and he doesn't, uh, he doesn't cry or anything. He just goes to sleep. So we kind of enjoy that. <laughs> we'll deal with the thumb later on in life. For now, we're just enjoying the, the nice times with him. So then I decided to use that Dear Lizzie Lucky Charm paper with the circles. And also that... Oh, it looks like a ledger paper and it's pink on the other side and I don't know if I have any of that paper that's on that still has the the branding strip on and no I don't oh yes I do it's fancy pants and I have it as a strip there just because that's how it was a scrap so that's how I I had it so I just put on the layout and I also use that Allison Kreft paper Webster's page with the yellow um, and cream triangles and I'm going to put that to the left of the page and then I know I want something else to that left side and at first I think I'm going to use that love you to the stars paper but I decide against it. I find it's too, um, everything else is really pastel -y, I guess you could say. And, and this is really bold. So I want to keep 
the colors more pastel-y. So I'm going to change that out. So I'm just going through my little container here that was from last month's kit because last month we had three or four die cut packs that were from basic gray different basic gray um, collections and I must have still over 200 um, die cuts in that little little dish and I don't remember which collection it belongs to so I just kept it in that bowl and almost every page I kind of dig it out and see exactly you know if there's anything I can put on my page so I dug out a whole bunch of stuff that was yellow and now I'm also I also pulled out my tags that are digital prints from Studio Calico and I get them printed at Staples and it's on glossy paper and um, maybe I'll explain a little bit more when I do my prize how I go about doing that and then I took out my dear Lizzie sticker book from Lucky Charm and I pulled out a whole bunch of stickers that are yellow and I took my EK success powder tool and took the stickiness away and what's great about that is that you can then move your sticker about on your page without having to worry that it's gonna glue down on your page and then I took out the Amy Tangerine rub-ons that we got a couple months ago and I still have a couple left so I'm trying to use them up and it says love you to pieces and then I had found um, a tag that was yellow and the bottom of it had a phone so I just kind of cut it off because I, I might be able to use that on another layout and then I'm going to stick that tag in behind there just as an added uh, layer and then I added one of the stickers from um, Dear Lizzie and one of the tags that I got printed in one of the die cuts I also got printed from a digital print and then we had gotten those little flags and they're like um, material and I took one out that was in yellow and I kind of put it with those die cuts and then I wanted some washi tape so I went through my collection and I have them I have, if you're interested, I have a video that shows how I divide my washi tape. But they're in containers and they're all divided by colors. So I wanted some yellow ones. So I took out a few yellow ones. But I'm only going to end up using one. And I didn't know which one I wanted. So I just kind of stuck through them onto a little tag. And then I was able to see which one I liked the most. And then this is where I also added that asterisk paper to the left of the page and that is one of my favorite paper it's from Ellie Studio and I've used it I think on almost every single page and I just keep using little strips so that I can um, keep using it I do have two sheets of it so I'll be using it some more now I cut that sticker in half because I want it to I want to bring it in three different spots so I'm going to put some to the top right of the layout and then right underneath the photo so then I have it in three spots and then I also dig out, dug out my um, the brads that we got in the kit and there are simple stories simple stories vintage bliss and I took out three brads and they have some yellow and some gray and some blue which is the main colors of this page and then I'm going to cut that strip in half so that I can use it on another layout and I wanted more of those yellow circles the lucky charm dear Lizzie so I took my second sheet out and cut another strip for the bottom so then it looks like one one pattern paper but there's actually two I'm just trying to conserve that paper because that's another one of my favorite papers and now I'm going to start gluing everything down I'm just using my ruler because even though it's not the same pattern paper I still want the pattern papers on the bottom to be equal even though at the top of the pattern paper they're not equal on the right side of the page I have all these die cuts that kind of build up on that side too and kind of bring it really close to being this 
Okie dokie, so the recording stopped again, so I'll go from where it stopped, and now I'm going to use my rub-on tool and put down that rub-on that was from Amy Tangerine. And there was a little spot that I had kind of rubbed off somewhere else, so I just used my marker and kind of filled out, the, it was the C, so I just kind of filled that out so you can't even tell that the rub-on wasn't complete. And now I'm going to work on the top of the layout. And I had cut that sticker in three so that I could have three yellow spots all over the paper, you know, in the three embellishments. And then I took my twine and I had a little flag and that came on a button sheet. And I think it was last month or the month before. And I just kind of put the twine through it and made a little bow. And then I realized that I had circles on the other two embellishments of the page and I didn't have any on that third one so I just cut one of my circles and it was um, a die cut from the digital prints and then I put that at the top of the layout I added my chevron washi tape in three spots at the three embellishments and then I also took out some brads and they were from the, this month's kit and they're from Simple Stories Vintage Bliss. And the brads have some gray, some blue and some yellows. So it, it really coordinates with the page. And this is the 99th layout or scrapbooking process video. And it is the sixth layout using the planetarium kit. And it took me an hour and 27 minutes. And I just want to let you know that tomorrow I'm participating in a YouTube layout hop and I'll make sure to, you know, put it in the description that it is the video for that. And then I'll give you a link um, for the layout hop if you want to join us and it's a Facebook group. And then I, I knew my title was going to be little, no, Life's Little Wonders. And at first I did it all with my sticky keys from October afternoon, but I found it just kind of blended too much in the page. So I ended up using my, I think it's Amy Tangerine journal letters and they're in gray and a white or a cream. And it went perfectly with this page. And I go as far as putting the whole title at the bottom of the p bottom of the layout right there where I'm putting it. And then I kind of look at it for a few minutes and I don't like it at all. So I'm going to pull everything off and I'm going to put the title at the top of the page. So I put every single sticker back on that wax paper and then I move the title to the top of the page and I like it there a whole lot better. So now I'm adding my little yellow October afternoon sticky keys and the color is honey. So if you want to see some still pictures of my layout, you can do three things. I just started a Facebook group and I'm going to have the link in the description. And the whole purpose of the Facebook group is get her done. And today I posted a page where I'm going to put the challenges and there's going to be weekly and monthly challenges. And the difference is, is weekly, I'm just going to say, you know, like last week it was a scrapbook of about your favorite things, your favorite uh, embellishments or favorite things about scrapbooking. And the monthly goals might be, um, you know, use your mask this month or something like that. So if you want to join us, the link is in the description, or you can go to Two Peas in a Bucket Studio Calico in the Members Gallery and look for Nicole Jones 911. So that's it. The page is done. So thanks for watching. Bye.